can't say it any other way and then congratulations Florida Mayhem you deserve it absolutely well and that means that the Florida Mayhem are the team to take home one million dollars they got the back this season and we have to congratulate the Houston Outlaws of course for a very well deserved second place those two teams they've been playing in it so close all season long it was a back and forth between those were the two teams the first two teams to take down the giant the juggernaut of the regular season the Atlanta rain and now those are the two teams which find themselves in that, that grand final and it was with players of course like Merritt really rising up towards the end of the season here like Jake mentioned it wasn't all about the team play but Merritt with his grand final MVP performance truly just took over the game really at times and it allows for MAM to play more passively to take their time playing this final composition and the sojourn just finding pick after pick if you're playing five versus four it's not even a contest so Merritt also as well Very I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I mean Jake MVP. we gotta we gotta spill the beans every time throughout the whole season Merritt played and had some pop-up moments which he had a lot Jake in the green room would always be like Min. that's his Korean name <laughs> I think that's sort of the thing that that I guess players say or something and he would always do that and I mean Merritt had so many of those moments and even in the grand final on this match he definitely deserved this award. Merritt you know he's a quiet player and so you know he comes in the interview he says something lovely and humble like of course he does that you know it's my team it's these wonderful guys around me and he really believes it he's a humble guy but for me what I love so much about Merritt is that he's the perfect player for a system like this. The peaks of skill unmatched I think right now on the hit scan roll I think he is the best but I think more than that, it's the way he can fit into the system that Gunba McGravy, the staff of the Florida Mayhem, created this season and refined and refined and refined. When I worked with Merritt, I never once had to tell him something twice. I mean, this is an incredibly complicated game. It's very normal to need to iterate and iterate. But to have this kind of mechanical skill matched by the intelligence, the read of the game that Merritt has, I mean, this is he's looking like one of the best players we've ever seen in the league right now. He said it. He said he's the best damage player in the world. He said it. You had to push him so hard. He... <laughs> <laughs> Too humble. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready. Somebody needs to because he deserves that kind of praise. 100%. And uh, as quick as the mayhem was with uh, getting that trophy, as quick were our fan arts coming in like this one from Ready, uh, showcasing that mayhem victory. So once again, of course, thanks to everyone who's been sending in their fan art throughout the year. It's been such a joy to see you all capturing those beautiful moments that we got to witness on the servers and now on this very stage. And I think it is time for us to close this one out. And I want to bring in everyone, all those beautiful voices, uh, voices and faces, which have been, yeah, this is another birthday celebration for Mr. X. Some might also call it the grand finals. And just like that, the 2023 season is coming to an end. And we get to look back at six incredible, unforgettable years. It's really impossible to express the emotions that all of you out there and us here on the desk are feeling right now, but I will give it a try. I currently feel an insane and immense sense of gratitude, love and pride thinking of the heroes behind the scenes who have shaped and built the Overwatch League. You all made this so much more than just a competition. This was not just a show, all right? This was a shared dream that was uniting us across borders, languages and differences. It was the hard work and the commitment of everyone out there which was bringing the teams and the fans alike the best possible experience each and every show and all of that has been nothing short of remarkable. And to my broadcast family right here with me on stage and everyone who joined us in the past as well, your voices have guided us through the ups and downs, through all the action the past six years. Just thank you, your talent, your love, and your passion has made this an unforgettable journey for us all. And you out there, the fans, your cheers, your tears, the unwavering support, you were the lifeblood of this league. You made this so much more than just a gaming community. This was family. You are incredible, and we want to thank you so much for every single moment you shared with us. And of course, our teams. You all embodied sportsmanship. You were dedication. You taught us resilience and teamwork through victories and defeats. And now that we close this chapter, I think 
we should all just look back at it and remember the moments that took our breath away. We have to remember the friendships we got to form and the lessons that we learned. So from all of us, thank you. From the bottom of our hearts for being a part of this incredible journey. It's been an honor, a privilege, and a joy to share this experience with all of you. Thank you so much. And the quest for a champion begins today. The anticipation has been building, and it is finally time. We are live. Are you ready? Told me 
that you spoke English, honestly. <laughs> the fans never thought they'd see this day. It took 43 matches. Feels like a really emotional moment here. 